relish a bit of rags to riches cooking and my chocolate chip bread pudding is a prime example of this. I just love the feeling that when I've got a stale bit of bread in the kitchen, I can turn it into a dinner party treat or stolen solitary indulgence. So this is how I very simply go about it. I get out an oven-proof dish and I grease it. Now, I do this by using an old butter paper. I reckon that for a 23 centimetre dish, I need about 250 grams of bread. So that's about a quarter of a loaf. I leave the crusts on, but I cut the bread into cubes of about two to three centimetres. I put the cubes of bread in the dish and don't worry if it looks like you've got too much bread to fit in because it'll work. On top of the pyramid of bread cubes, scatter about 100 grams of chocolate chips. Your choice which kind they are. I get out a big glass jug and I pour in about half a litre of milk, full fat milk, I insist. And on top of that, I pour in about 125 millilitres of double cream. On top of the cream and milk in the jug, I add oh, about 40 grams of soft light brown sugar. I crack three eggs into this jug, and it's these eggs which turn the liquid into the makings of a voluptuous custard. Still whisking happily away, I add a generous splosh of rum. I suppose I'd say about two spoonfuls, but you don't have to add this if you don't want to. I pour the contents of the jug onto the bread cubes in their dish. I try and pour slowly, because otherwise the bread pops up too easily. And for longer than I probably should, but I just love the feeling, I press down on the bread to, to make sure all of it is submerged in the pale yellow custard to be. I want to make sure the bread cubes really absorb all that lovely liquor, so I leave the dish out on the counter for about 20 minutes. Finally, I sprinkle about two spoonfuls of crunchy demerara sugar on top. This is what helps the crust really become golden and crunchy. I put my pie dish into an oven preheated to 170 and it needs about 40 minutes and you can tell when it's finished because the top will be glorious and gold and crispy and underneath will still have a very desirable hint of wobble.